take it all, the banners and the placards around you from every single corner of the globe. Iraq, Iran, Palestine, Lebanon, Somalia, Sudan, from around the world, all these areas have suffered as a result of direct executive orders or policies of the man whose presence is polluting London and the UK today. And we are here to say that he is not welcome. He is not welcome. Never in our name. Our next speaker, our next speaker is someone who's been at the fore of the campaign for another of the areas that have suffered as a result of this man. Please welcome our next speaker, the Deputy General Secretary of the MCB and the Palestine campaigner, Dr. Dawood Abdullah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We said it six years ago that it is easy to start a war, but it's very difficult to stop it. And it is easy to destroy, but very difficult to build. And our unwanted guest today is here and we are sure he's not here to pay reparations for the damages he has done in Iraq and Afghanistan. We wanted to pay the reparations, the mass damage he has inflicted on these countries. We wanted to ex express contrition for his wrong, his crimes against humanity. This is what we want here today. We do not expect that our leadership should bow to his pressure and to embark on another senseless war against any other country in the region. We know this is why he's here. He wants to dupe them into another war. No way! No we are, way! We are befounded by the fact that our leaders can still put their trust and faith in this individual when the American establishment is crumbling around him. When his own people in the neoconservative movement have abandoned him. Every week, one of his allies are coming out with the crimes that they have committed. They are confessing, they are revealing the things, the lies that they have perpetrated over the years. You read their, their, their confessions, Scott McLennan, Douglas Faith, they've all written in their memoirs that the war against terror was a hoax. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as war on terror. It is a war against democracy. This war, it was a war for re regime change. They said it and they planned it. Donald Rumsfeld wrote two weeks after September the 11th, he wrote that we must undertake regime change in Iraq, in Syria, in, in Afghanistan. This is what he wrote. It was a question of regime change.